Hello, hello. Welcome, guys, to a unboxing video of mine. Um, this is the first time I'm unboxing something like this or anything. I don't think I've really made an unboxing video before, at least in not in a Snapchat manner. So this one is for the uh, for the upload, actually, to YouTube. So. It's really going to just be a test run of my unboxing videos. So I've yet to develop a proper script for this. So bear with me. Um, I actually don't even know if the music is a little too loud. But I'm also going to try and play songs that aren't really, you know, typically copyrighted. But this is Angels by Mitro, or however you pronounce the uh, artist's name. Let's just jump right into it. I pretty much just um, purchased on sale an HP budget laptop for about $450 US dollars. It was originally priced at uh, $6.99, so about $700, so I saved like $250, essentially. But this is slightly cheaper than the laptop that I received five years ago, which was also an HP Pavilion laptop. 17.6, I believe, was its display, or 17.5 inch display for that previous one, but this one is... A Slightly smaller at 15.6, but obviously has better specs than the last one I had. I wonder how long I make this video. I want to try and get it under 10 minutes. Most people don't really have an attention span and longer than the average is 15 minutes, allegedly, but. Most of the time, it's a lot shorter than that. Alright, so we're going to take out the accessories box. It's in the corner. Um, pretty much, this is probably just the power brick, or the charging brick, with the charging cable extension. This is the, uh... This is the plug. And then this is the power brick. Nicely wrapped, as expected. I think this is, is this still, is this the same as my old laptop's charger? I think it might be, or it might be a little bit smaller. I don't know what size that is, I'm not familiar with chargers. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is a sizable power brick for a 15.6 inch display laptop. Not bad, HP. It's my brand also have like a, a flash drive that I've posted before, but you know, I don't know, I'm just an HP fanboy. My three previous laptops were, um, you guessed it, HP's. One of them's actually right there, but I'll show it later in the corner. Oh, this is copyrighted, I think. It's plastic love, I gotta change it. I'm playing Spotify on my PlayStation 3. I could play it off my PlayStation 4, but... I'll just stick with the PS3 for now since it's plugged in. Let's put that on repeat. Why is it not on repeat one? Oh, I didn't set it to repeat one. Oh, it's not even possible on here. It's only just, it's a normal repeat. Oh well. It's the PS3, so I'm not surprised it doesn't have that option. say it's styrofoam but it's some kind of you know packaging foam not your typical styrofoam the white styrofoam so it, this has it comes with a nicely sealed setup instructions and it pretty much just um, it's just straightforward 
plug it in, press the power button, and it shows all the different um, components. Yeah, pretty simple. What is this? This must be... This is the warranty. Limited warranty and tech support. So this is the packaging, we just gotta slide it out of its styrofoam packaging. This is really nice. It's not just, you know, plain cardboard. And let's remove the plastic wrap. How is it? Oh, ooh, that is nice. It is, it is sealed by an HP sticker. I like that. That's classy. It's nicely packaged for a budget laptop, too. Oh! And if you rip it, you'll know if it's been opened before. Because this stuff rips easily. It has those, like... You know... I don't know how to describe it. I don't actually... I don't want to preserve the sticker. I'm one of those people that likes preserving things. Eh, might as well. There's just no easy way around it, but at least I'll preserve the HP logo on it. Is are my hands clean enough for this? I don't want to get smudges. It's whatever. But I, from what I've seen in other reviews and unboxings, it is a plastic finish. And I just, I smudged the crap out of that right there. It has a nice reflective HP logo on it with a slight green tint. It's like light green, apple green, lime green. Yeah. It's really nice and reflective. And there's the pavilion logo. You can see the uh, ports on the side. There's HDMI, USB, Ethernet. I think that's the Thunderbolt or whatever those wires are called. A jack, an audio jack, I think it's probably 3.5. Um, and an SD card reader for expandable memory. Now, the model I got um, comes with a 200, I believe it was like 256 gigabyte SSD. And there's another USB port here and the charging port. And I believe that's it. So it's, I, I like its design. For a budget laptop, it still has that angular design. And nice air vents down here for proper cooling. <sighs> if I'm also not misled by the questions that were asked on the Best Buy um, page for this product. Somebody did ask, and I think it was responded to by the HP team. It has a SATA port and slot for an HDD and an 2.5 inch SSD. So I can, along with its M.2 NVMe SSD, I can add in a SATA hard drive as well. Hard disk drive, or it could be a solid state, just for, for storage. Because the M.2 NVMe SSD is for booting, so there's really no need to upgrade that. It only comes with 8GB of RAM, but it has two RAM slots. And only one of them is occupied in this configuration, so I could expand that, you know, in the future. I could, it could go up to 32. Since it's two slots, you know, just slot in two 16 gigabyte RAM for each slot. So, one for each slot, so 32 gigabytes of RAM right there. I don't need to get an HP Omen. Pay an extra 500 for that. So removing this cover and... Some stickers here. 
interesting and typical. So this comes with a AMD Ryzen, um, Ryzen 5 40, oh no, it's a 4000 series. Oh snap, I thought it was 46, that's the 4000 series. I'm not familiar with how many threads that might have and cores, but it should be decent enough for its price point. This was 450. Okay. Oh, where's my? Uh, here I am thinking I'm gonna look stuff up on my phone, but um, yeah. Uh, I'll look that up later, cause I know the. F this isn't the one that I looked up, but it should have. I don't know, I can't really guess how many threads it has and how many cores, but I know the 4600, the Ryzen 5 4600 has like six cores and 12 threads, so this one would probably be a little bit less than that. So this display, I'm not familiar with the display, but I will scan this later. There's a QR code for reviews, videos, features, specs, and support. That's nice. I will take this off. I always leave these two. I always leave the stickers for the GPU and the CPU. But these two I will remove, because this is not necessary. I mean, none of the stickers are really necessary, but, you know, this is just... This is just, uh, to let people know what's inside. Bo? Or B-N-O? It's not the best sound system for a laptop, but you know, I I'm mostly gonna be using ear or headphones for this anyways. So these are the speaker grills, and if you look closer to, this, to the back, there's also air vents down here too. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see it from this angle too, but there are air vents within the the hinge for the screen. Ooh, what was that? That did not sound nice. I don't know how to open this. But I believe you remove those four screws. Oh no, there's more. There's seven by the looks of it. There's three here and then four here. So I remove those screws and I believe you can lift this whole panel up to see the internals, but again, um, it has a nice, a nice design. I prefer it. It's not aluminum. It's really all just plastic. I love how they still have a uh, numpad for this, because some other laptops sacrifice this, and they don't keep a numpad. It just depends if you're a numpad person, but it's always nice to have it, you know, as an option. Um, but yeah, it's backlit too, and, um, I don't know what else to talk about now. That's just pretty much it. This is really just an unboxing. Um, I wasn't planning on recording to, uh, show the, uh, startup for this, because it's just strictly an unboxing. But, um, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and, um... I wasn't able to keep it under 10 minutes, but at least it's within 15 minutes, so. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.